For attempt, when it comes to telescopes and eyes, it's the angle that matters because we don't know about the distance. So it's the best way to think about it is in terms of angles. But when it comes to microscope, since the objective of the microscope is very, very close to the uh, whatever specimen you keep, because of that, we can now talk in terms of linear distances. So suppose here is the objective of the microscope. So here is the objective lens. And let's say here is what my specimen is. And now the question is, what are the two, what are the minimum, minimum distance between the two specimens, two points on the specimen, says that I can just, I can just see them to be two objects or two points. So if this distance I call it as dx, then how do I calculate dx? That's that's the main goal of this. Well, we again look at the same thing. Remember, the smallest angle that can be subtended is going to be 1.22 lambda divided by d, where d is the diameter of the circular aperture. Now here, the diameter becomes this one. And so all I have to do now is to calculate how much the diameter is and then stick it over here. To do that, we're going to do some assumptions. The first assumption that we're going to make is that the specimen is right at the focal length, or, or it's right at the principal focus of this objective. And that's not a bad assumption. Whenever we have a microscope, the, uh, the specimen which you have is a little bit outside that of the principal focus, but is very, very close to the principal focus. So I can just say that this distance it's going to be the focal length of the objective. So now I can do some little geometry. I can say, okay, this is one right angle triangle which I have. So if you look at this right angle triangle, if I call this angle as alpha, then from trigonometry it follows that tan alpha, it's going to be the opposite side, which is half the diameter divided by the adjacent side, it's going to be F0. So now the diameter becomes 2 times F0 into tan alpha. And so now all I have to do is state in this number and I get delta theta, it's going to be 1.22 lambda divided by 2 F0 tan alpha. But remember, I am not interested in the angular resolution, but I'm interested in what is the limit of resolution when it comes to distance. And that's easy. How do we convert from angle to distance? We have discussed that before. You just have to multiply it by the size, this separation. How far the screen is, we did that before. Now instead of screen, it's this one. So all I have to do is put this over here. And so what I get now is dx is going to be is 1.22 lambda d divided by 2 f naught tan alpha and I've just multiplied this number by this distance f naught and f naught immediately cancels so I get the smallest separation that I can achieve is 1.22 lambda divided by 2 tan alpha so this is the expression which I get and if I have a medium over here because remember here I can choose what medium I want and if the refractive index of medium is n then the lambda becomes n times smaller. So in that case what's going to happen now is I'm going to get even better limit of resolution because it, because it becomes smaller, the wavelength becomes smaller. So I get a 2n tan alpha over here and usually we don't like tans, we, can, we like sines and then alpha is extremely small, tan alpha, sine alpha same thing doesn't matter so ultimately you would see the final equation usually in this form and this number over here what you see over here is what you call now as the numerical aperture numerical aperture of this particular microscope